Moses provides food and water in the desert. The pillar of cloud led the people of Israel from the Red Sea into the desert of Shur. They traveled for three days without finding any fresh water. Then, when they came to a place with water, it was bitter and undrinkable. The thirsty crowd grumbled angrily to Moses, What are we going to drink? Moses cried out to God for help. The Lord showed him a piece of wood and Moses threw it into the water. Immediately the water became fit to drink. If you listen and obey God, Moses declared, He will keep you from any diseases he brought on the Egyptians. He is the Lord who heals you. The people then traveled on through the desert to an oasis called Elam, where they found twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. They camped by the water and rested. Then they set off from Elam towards Mount Sinai through the desert of Sin. In the desert they became very hungry and started grumbling to Moses and Aaron. In Egypt we had plenty of food, they complained bitterly. You have brought us out into the desert to die of starvation. The Lord told Moses, I am going to rain down bread from heaven for six days each week. On the sixth day people should gather twice as much. On the seventh day there will be no bread from heaven as it is a special day for them to rest. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, and in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses also said, You will know that it was the Lord when he gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we? You are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. Aaron told the crowd to come before God. As they looked toward the desert they saw the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord promised Moses he was sending meat that evening and bread in the morning. That evening a large flock of birds called quail landed near the camp. The hungry people caught them and ate the delicious meat. The next morning there was a layer of dew on the ground, which dried up and became like thin flakes of frost on the ground. What is it? they asked Moses. This is the bread from heaven, God promised, Moses explained. Everyone should gather as much as they need. Don't collect more that you need and store it overnight. Everyone started gathering the manna. It was white like coriander seed and tasted like wafers made with honey. Moses explained they were to gather just enough for five days. Only the sixth day they were to gather twice more than they needed as there would be no manna on the seventh day. Most people obeyed God and gathered enough food for that day. But some were greedy, they disobeyed God, gathered more than they needed, and stored it overnight. The next morning it was full of maggots and smelled horrible. On the sixth day most people gathered twice as much as God had told them. On the seventh day the extra manna was still fresh and they could eat it. Some of the people went out looking for manna, but there were none. God has declared the seventh day as a special day of rest, Moses said. Everyone is to stay where they are and rest. The Israelites traveled on towards Mount Sinai. When they camped at Rephidim there was no water to drink. They complained and quarreled with Moses, demanding, Give us water to drink. Why do you quarrel with me? Moses asked. Why do you test God? Moses cried out to God for help. What am I to do with these people? They are ready to stone me. Go out to the people and take the leaders with you to the rock at Horeb, God replied. Carry your staff with you and strike the rock. The leaders followed Moses to the rock at Horeb and watched as he struck it with his staff. Water burst out of the rock, just as God had promised. Everyone drank the water. Moses called the place Massa and Meribar because people had doubted God by asking, Is the Lord with us or not? God kept his promise and provided food and water for his people in the desert. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.